Hi everyone, this is Ram from Informatica Global Customer Support Team. In this video, we'll see how to perform JDBC test without using JDBC utility in the power center. The main agenda of this video is what is JDBC, why we need to perform the JDBC test, followed by a quick demo. Now, what is JDBC? JDBC is nothing but Java database connectivity. That means we are connecting to the database from our Java application. Here, the Java application is nothing but our domain or the node. So that means we are checking whether the connectivity from our node, that means from the power center machine to the database, whether the connectivity is exists or not. Now, need to use a database specific driver to connect. That means if you are connecting to the Oracle database, you need to use a Oracle driver. If you are connecting to a DB2 database, you need to use a DB2 driver. If you are connected to SQL Server database, you need to use a SQL Server driver. So like this, you need to use. So these drivers, you, need, you don't need to get explicitly from the Informatica Power Center bundle installation, you will get these drivers, okay? Now, the next thing is by default, we have a script. Now, if you see under Info Home Tools, Debug Tools, JDBC Test, we have a script, JDBC test.sh. If you run this one, it will ask for the DB details and the connection string. If you provide it, it will help you to check whether the connectivity is present or not. But in some cases, this script won't uh, may not work. If it's not working, then we can simply write a Java program in order to test the connectivity to the database. So that Java program, I will tell you in this video. Now, what are the steps to develop JDBC program? So how, what are the steps? So first, we need to load the driver into JVM memory. That is mandatory step we need to do. And the second thing is we need to establish the database connection. So that means first we are, after loading the driver into the JVM memory, we are establishing to the uh, database connection by giving the database detail. If the connection is established, then it will display like the connection is established. Otherwise, it will fail. Now, these are the optional ones. If you want to, like after connecting to the database, if you want to query any table to the domain database, that means if you want to know the domain name or if you want to know the node name, so then simply you can create a statement object and we can write select star from uh, uh, whichever the table you need to write and execute that query and after executing the output will be the result set object so this result set object we can process and we can and then whatever the connection we have opened here db connection we can close this now i will show i will show you this uh, in a demo part now why we need to perform the JDBC test? As I mentioned, in order to check the connectivity from a power center server machine to the database, that means sometimes there is a chance that uh, the domain is not up and running due to uh, unable to connect to database. So that the, at that time, you need to perform the JDBC test. So if the JDBC script is not working, then we can simply write a Java program, which is, uh, which is mentioning in this video. Then you can simply write that one and you can check the connectivity. Then if the connection is not happening, even when you write the Java program, if the connection is not happening, then you need to contact your OS system admin and your DB team in order to make the connection available. Because from power center end, we cannot do anything. Because the connection should be established, then only the domain will be up and running. Now, what are the driver classes and connection strings we need to use? So for the Oracle, the driver class in the program we need to write com.informatica jdbc.oracle.oracle driver. This is a driver class and this is a connection string. So if you see JDBC Informatica Oracle, and the host port service name and the value so in the same way these are the driver class and connection for sql server you can see the same up to jdbc the same and it is sql server and sql server driver it's a class name so in the same way connection string is this one and if you are using windows and authentication then the one other parameter will be added authentication method equal to ntlm java and what are the domain name of that authentication method you need to provide in the same way, if you are connecting DB2, so this is a driver and this is a connection string. For the Sybase also, this is a driver. If you see, Sybase driver is a class name and this is a connection string. Now, let's start with a quick demo. Now, I have logged into my Power Center server machine. So, I have my Power Center server on a Unix machine. Now, if you do a PWD, so our driver, so whatever the driver uh, which I mentioned, so the drivers will be present in InfoHome services shared jars third party. So, in this, if you see, so you can see this one. So if you run this one, so you can see this is the Oracle driver. So data direct Oracle driver. So in this video, I am going to tell how to connect to the Oracle driver. So if you want to connect to other drivers, you can use the same respect to driver class and the uh, connection string, which I mentioned in the PPT. So for easy understanding, I'm just explaining the Java program in the Eclipse in the Windows environment. So let's first uh, understand the Java program and then I will copy paste the same program into the Linux machine and from the Linux machine, which is Power Center Server machine, we can test the connectivity. And here first I'm simply creating one project. So right click on new file and projects and you can just search for Java project and you just click next. 
and you can just give a you know, project name. So I am just giving power center JDBC test. So I have clicked to finish. And so you can see uh, here power center JDBC test has been created. Now in the SRC, I'm just creating a package. So I'm just creating, so you can just give any name. So I'm just giving JDBC and JDBC test. So in this package, I'm going to create a class. So I'm going to create a class with JDBC test. Okay, now, so this is a class and I'm just writing the main method. So this is a main method. And as I mentioned, first we need to load the driver. So in order to load the driver, we just need to write. So whatever. So here you need to provide the driver class name. So let me provide that. So this is the driver class name. Okay. So I have provided com informatica. So after this, I am just printing a statement driver loaded successfully. So if it is able to load the successfully, then it will just print driver loaded successfully. And here you can just see, like, uh, let me put this into double quotes. Okay. So you can just see it is a uh, throwing and class not found exception. So you can just write a throws keyword or you can just surround with the try catch. I'm just putting in the th throws keyword. Okay. So this is a class not found exception is being handled. Now, if you after connecting to the database using this driver and then you need to check the connectivity, you need to provide the connection string. So in order to provide the connection string, you need to write driver manager dot get connection. So driver manager is a class. So you just provide get, get connection. So you can see driver manager is a class from Java dot SQL package and you can provide your connection string, which I have shown in the PPT. So this is a connection string. JDPC colon, Informatica colon, Oracle colon. So here you just provide your host name. So I'm just providing my host name and I'm just providing my port number. So you just provide the port number of your Oracle database and service name. So what is the service name you just provide? And in the double quotes, you just need to provide your username and password. Argument is username. So I'm just providing my username. And what is the password? Database password. And I'm just providing password. So this is the one. So if it is able to successfully connect, then we can simply display a message connected to DB successfully. Okay, so that means first we are loading a driver and then we are making a connection. So here you can see it is also raising an exception, SQL exception, just add throws declaration. And so whatever the connection, so if you want, you can simply store in a connection object. So this connection object, you can simply define here. So connection, so this is from, connection is an interface. It is from java.sql package, okay? So now it is able to connect to database successfully. Now let me run the program Java application and you can see the error message. It is saying class not found exception. So that means it is unable to find the Oracle driver class. That means we have a jar file. So as I mentioned, we need to use a driver. So as I mean, so, but if you see the driver is present on the Linux server machine in the power center in the jars directory. So I have just exported that line from the Linux machine into the Windows machine. And I am just for the understanding purpose, I just exported and what how to add here so you can just simply click here on properties and if you go to uh, add external jars and you can simply add so this is a driver which i have exported from linux to windows and you can simply click apply and okay now you can just uh, simply rerun again now you can see driver loaded successfully that means first driver is loaded successfully and then it make a connection and it is connected to the database successfully now I have logged into that uh, Oracle user. Now you can see, so this is my user. Now we can see uh, if you want to query. So here, if you want to query, so we are able to successfully uh, connect to the database. Now, for example, if you want to query ISP master elect log, if you want to know the domain name or node name from your Java program, we can also do that. Let me show you that. Now, as I mentioned, so these two steps are the mandatory one. And the third step is then optional one. If you don't want to query anything, you can just simply leave. But if you want to query, then you can just simply write con dot create statement. So we need to create a create statement and then we need to assign. So this is a statement object. I'm just giving statement. Okay. So now we have to pass. So in this statement object, we need to execute a query. So that's why I'm just calling execute query. So I just need to run select star from ISP underscore master elect lock. So I just need to write ISP master elect lock. So this is the one which I need to query. 
So this will return. So this statement object will go to the database and this will return a result set. So I'm just storing enter result set. Now, if you want to query, so I, as I mentioned, the next one is we need to process the result set. So that's why if you, if you want to process then while dot rs dot next. So if the element is there, then you can just simply, this is a string object. So that's why the first one is domain name. Okay, so that is a string object. So you can just assign to a domain name. And the second one is get string. So that second one is a node name. That is a second column. So that's why I'm giving two here. And here we can just simply put node name here. Okay. So if you want to print, you can just print by using statement object. So system.outdoorprintln, you can just print. So I'm just giving a space and just printing. Now, if you simply run this one, Java application and you can see driver loaded successfully and you can get connected to DB successfully. So these two are the only mandatory steps. So if you want to query anything, you can just simply do this. Okay, this is a domain and this is a node one. Now we can see like I have simply copied that uh, program from the Eclipse into the Linux server machine because our power center server is on Linux. Now we can see, so we are just like the same one. We are just uh, driver loaded successfully. And if it is connecting to database, then it will print connect to DB successfully. But if it's unable to uh, connect to database, then it will raise an exception here. Okay, so I'm just stopping. Now, if you want to run, like if you want to compile, first we need to compile this Java program. So if you want to compile, we need to use Java C and the program name test.jdbc test.java so this is a class name so now we can see like uh, jdbc test class file will create got created so the compiler will create dot class file now sometimes your java c won't work so this java c in order to make work you need to add this to the dollar uh, path so if you see if this is an info home java bin so that means in the java bin i have a java c command so that's why I have added this into the path. So that's why I'm able to run the Java C command from any directory. Now, if you simply go here and if you do LS, you can see a Java C uh, utility is present here. Okay. So I have added that to the path. That's it. Now I'm just going back to again. Now you can see the dot plus five is already created. Now, if you want to run, so we need to run Java. If you directly run Java and the dot class name, now if you simply put enter, now it will say main class not found exception. That means driver is unable to like uh, find by the JVM. Okay. So that's why we need to provide a class path hyphen CP option and we need to provide the directory uh, where. So this directory we need to provide third party. Okay. So this is the location we need to provide here. Okay. Now this is a command. So if you see hyphen CP and we are providing so services shared jars third party so in this third party we have all the directories that by star all the drivers we have that by star and colon is nothing but in order to separate a directories this is a colon is a separator and dot is nothing but uh, for the class path this is a default value dot so you need to run like this and this is as usual this is the dot class file name so now you can just simply enter and if you see, you can see driver loaded successfully, connect to DB success. That means we are able to make a connection from the power center, Linux power center machine to the database. If you are unable to make the connection, then you need to work with your system admin or your DB team and make the connection work. Like then you can able to uh, bring up the domain or you can able to connect to the database from the power center machine as well. So video demo got completed and for your references you can see this uh, kb article 532896 which talks about the same and you can also see this uh, uh, link for the connection strings if you if you need for db2 or sybase now you can also see our videos at info support channel if you love this video line you can give your uh, valuable feedback at support videos at or we have a twitter channel thank you thank you for watching this video